Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, for Hashem Yahweh Shai, for Hashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere icons. Keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith regardless of people here for a bit. And this devil, this great deceiver, sleazy Esau Edom, is getting ready to come down with a great wrath. Why? Because the scriptures say he only got a short time to rule. The clock is ticking, man. See, the thing about it, the clock is not on this devil's side, man. All right? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. So that's why it's a heavy push for his nonsense, man. Cause he know it, he only got a short time to rule Israel. We're at the end of his rulership, Israel. Just know that. And the Lord said, don't even worry about the fiery trials. They, look, they're gonna come upon all the people of the earth to try you as gold is tried in the fire. Remember, acceptable men are tried in the furnace of adversity, man. You know, this is pretty much a rite of passage, man. Suffering for righteousness sake. The Lord said, don't fear nothing that you're going to suffer, right? Let's get that again. Because this devil knows that the clock is ticking. His, his, his warlocks, his witches, his soothsayers, his procrastinators. If I'm saying that word right, we're speaking in a bastard tongue anyway, is letting that man know. Lord Yahweh Shai. Look, the, the only begotten son, the son of man, is on his way, baby. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe, which means destruction. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil, sleazy e Esau Edom, the deceiver. That's what the word devil means. It means deceiver. You should know that by now. The deceiver, the devil, has come down unto you having great wrath. Remember warp speed? Mandates? That's the devil coming down with great wrath. You can't work. You can't eat. That's the devil coming down with great wrath. But the Lord said don't even worry about all that though. You see? Do not worry about what this devil coming with, right? Remember the generations of old, right? Meshach, Shamrach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace. Daniel in the lion's den. Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah. Noah in the flood. Remember King David, Elisha, Elijah. Remember all those men. Jeremiah, Ezekiel, all the men of the Lord. The Maccabees, the Maccabee brothers and their mama. The devil came in with great wrath during their times. But who do they put their trust in? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. For the devil's come down unto you having great wrath. Why? Because he know, because he knoweth. He know, man. Don't think this devil don't know. He know the writing is on the wall. Too many, look, all the, too many chariot sightings. He know. Soon as the men of the Lord started pushing this word, this devil knew the clock was ticking even faster because the clock was already ticking. But his clock started speeding up when the men of the Lord started pushing this word. The late 60s, early 70s, tick tock, the clock started ticking. Tick tock, body rock. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no turning back now, so this devil got to push. But eventually, Lord Yahweh is going to crack them clouds, Israel. Just know that. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Fear not. Lord Yahweh Shai is red letter. All right? Who are you going to call Jesus, right? Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Now we're going to suffer. Lose our jobs, lose our homes, lose all the so called comfortabilities that we have. You know, shower, being able to shower when you want to, being able to fix a hot meal when you want to. All that's about to go out the window for a little moment. You know, just for a little moment, Israel. You see, 
But the majority of our people, they, they don't want to give up their comfortabilities. They don't want to give up their comforts. So, so they like, just, just, just bring it. I do whatever you want me to do. The Lord said, fear none of the things which thou shalt suffer. Who was brought into the state to suffer, Israel? Now the pastors tell you, look, you're not going to suffer. These false pop pastors and prophets tell you that this thing ain't about suffering. When the Lord said, fear none of the things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil sleeps and eat. Esau eat him. Once again, the same devil. You know what I'm saying? The great deceiver. But look, for the devil, the elite banking families, right? Shall cast some of you into prison, aka them concentration camps for not complying, for not getting down with their system, right? For, for not following a multitude to do evil, right? For the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried. We're going to be tried, right? Remember gold? Let's get that right quick. Gold is tried in the fire. Let's, we're going to get that right quick. Sorak. Let's go in and get it. This is Sorak, also known as Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 2. Bear with me. Chapter 2, verse um, 5. For gold is tried in the fire. Remember? We're going to be tried, right? For gold is tried in the fire. How do you take the impurities off gold? Put it in the fire. Put it in the fire, right? For gold is tried in the fire. An acceptable man, an acceptable man, brethren, in the furnace of adversity, right? So we're going to catch some hell. Remember? Through uh, much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Through much tribulation, which is really the kingdom of um, Yahweh Shai, Lord Yahweh Shai. You see? We have to go through some tribulation, man, some hardship. You know what I'm saying? Losing things. You know? I got to read that again. Sirach chapter 2, verse 5. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him, believe in the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Shai, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. And go not aside, lest ye fall, man. So th th this thing is about staying on the straight and narrow, staying on that path. You see? Look, lest ye fall. Let's go back. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil sleeps and eat. Esau, Edom shall cast some of you into prison. And this won't be the first time the men of the Lord got thrown into prison. Aren't you reading? Aren't you reading the different accounts of the men of the Lord suffering for righteousness sake? Remember, suffer for righteousness sake. Don't suffer as an evildoer, as a murderer, as a busybody. You see? You suffer for righteousness sake, right? It says, um, look, the, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. And, ye, and, and the whole time, look, in the whole time, the apostles and elders of great millstone been telling us this the whole time, that we're going to suffer. But these false pastors and false prophets been lying to you. They lied to you. They said there won't going to be no tribulation. They said there won't going to be no Jacob's trouble. They said all hell won't going to break loose. They said the, everybody's going to be eating and drinking. They said you know the chariot's going to pull up and just whoop. No, man. These false pastors and prophets lied to you, Israel. But you hold them in high esteem. But the men that told you the truth, you look down on them like they're the filth of the earth. You Y'all threw. T T T T T T T T H H H H H H H H Ara 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 You You threw Israel Listening to these false prophets and false fake pastors man You know Reverend Rib Tip You know what I'm saying You know what I'm saying And Pastor Bacon Bits man They lied to you Israel The devil about to throw you into prison Cast you into them concentration camps Head first man and ye shall be, and ye shall have tribulation. Look, slack it. Then ye may be tried. Remember, gold is tried in the furnace of adversity. And ye shall have tribulation. Ten days, a period of time. Be thou faithful unto death. Some of us going to have to lose our lives, man, for the gospel. We're going to have to be martyrs for Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Look, it's written. It's written, right? 
be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. The Lord said, and I will give you a crown of life. You see? And you know, the Lord said he's going he's gonna to avenge the, his very elect, man. The, the Lord is going to take vengeance for his elect's sake, man. First Peter chapter 4, verse 12. Beloved, the house of David, right? That, that's who the Lord is raising up. The house of David, right? Beloved, thinking not strange concerning the fiery trials. Things just happening all of a sudden. Don't think it's strange. Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. Remember, we're going to be tested, man. We're going to be battle tested as, as though some strange thing happened unto you. Things just coming out of the blue. But rejoice, the scripture said, but rejoice. And as much as ye are partakers, of Hamashiach's sufferings, man. We're suffering for the Lord. We're suffering for the Lord, man. The scripture say rejoice that you even counted in that number, man. To suffer for the Lord. To suffer for, for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Count it all joy, man. Count it all joy. Losing everything that you have for the Lord. Count it. Look, me for joy, Israel. That when his glory, look, look, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. For if ye be reproached for the name of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, happy are ye. For the spirit of glory and of Yahweh rested upon you. And on their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer or as a busybody in other men's matters, man. You see, if you if we suffer, we want to suffer for righteousness sake. We don't, we don't want to suffer for being a busybody, for being a murderer, a thief, a coward. You see? Verse, verse, verse 16. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, as, as a follower of the anointed, that's what the word Christian means. You know what I'm saying? Anointed, right? Let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify the Most High on this behalf, man. So don't be ashamed of the sufferings of, of Lord Yahweh Shai in the gospel, man. You see? Plus the Lord ain't gonna put nothing on us we can't handle. That's the that's the wonderful thing about it. Yahweh by Shem ain't gonna put nothing on us we can't handle Israel. If you're going through it, that means you can handle it. Whatever we're going through, that, that means we can handle it, man. Let's get this Hebrew 6 chapter right quick. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. For the most high, Yahweh, it's not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you have showed towards his name. And that ye have ministered to the saints, you serve the saints, which are the Israelites, and do minister. We got to continue. Remember, he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. So we pray for more strength to endure. We pray for more endurance. You know, pray for more prayer. Pray for more faith. Pray for more fear of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because those that fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai shall not want anything, man. Yeah, that was a heavy scripture, though. The Corinthians. That, that, that matter of fact, that one in Corinthians, that was, um, what was that? Was that that Timothy? Matter of fact, yeah, that was that Peter, first Peter, the fourth chapter, man. That, that, that was a heavy book. Let's get this though. Because I mentioned something through the Spirit. It's going to bring it out. First Corinthians, chapter 10. You're just, you're just rolling in the spirit, man. First Corinthians chapter 10. First, um, bear with me. 13. They have no temptation taking you. Because remember, um, what is it now? Second, um, Ecclesiastes, the second chapter. Ecclesiasticus, the second chapter. When thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Let's get this. First Corinthians chapter 10. Verse 13, they have no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. With the things that we're going through right about now, it, it ain't the first time that man ever went through. You see, 
You're not the only one that's going through something, right? But Yahweh is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. You see? So the Lord is not going to take you through something he know you can't handle. Everything that we go through, the Lord know that we can handle it, man. All right? Even when you don't think you can handle it, the Lord knows you can handle it. Because he, he said he ain't going to put you through nothing you're not able to handle, man. That's, that's a comforting scripture right there, Israel. You see? But Yahweh is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted? Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able? But with look, look, listen. But with, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may also be able to bear it, man. So the Lord got escape routes. You no know saying set up, man. But look, remember, help from on high is coming. You see. And I got one more, then I'm going to wrap it up. Just something quick through the spirit of your how about Shemel Shai, Lord willing to elect this edify. Second Corinthians, the second chapter. Um, second Corinthians, the fourth chapter. Verse 17. And it reads, let's see. I started 16. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. For which call we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man, meaning that spirit, is renewed day by day right for our light affliction this the lord called it light affliction all the hell that we get ready to catch the lord called it light affliction right i do got one more after this but for our light affliction which is but for a moment worketh for us it, it look it seemed like it's taking forever but it ain't the Lord said this light affliction, this care, this hell that we're about to catch is but for a moment, meaning it ain't going to last forever, right? It's not going to last forever. Work is for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, that faith, that faith, man. For the things which are not seen, it's like it, for the things which are seen are temporal. But you got our people going crazy for the things that they see, trying to hold on to it. Not knowing it's going to dissolve so called. Remember the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Everything that our people are fighting tooth and nail to keep, they're going to lose eventually, man. You see? You know, I got to read that again. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal. But the things which are not seen are eternal. And that's what we're fighting for. We're fighting for the things that you don't see, Israel. Our people are scared to death. I'm saying they lose their comfortability, man. Because they don't believe in things. They, they, they don't think nothing else is after this. They think this, this is it right here. This, this all, you know what I'm saying, that the world has to offer us is this. No, man. It's, it's more. Remember, the, the, the spirit truly is willing, but the flesh is weak, man. That's, that's why you got to pray for more strength. I'm going to get one more scripture and I'm going to wrap it up. Then it is Acts chapter 14, verse 22. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. Can, look, look, fight that good fight of faith, remember? And that we must do much tribulation. Enter into the kingdom of Yahweh, man. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. The Lord said we got to go through some tribulation to enter into the kingdom. And look, he, and he never said it was going to be a cakewalk. He never said it was going to be a cakewalk. And I want to go to a different version of the Bible. Same verse, Acts chapter 14, verse 22. And this is the um, CBS Bible. Look, look, it says strengthening the disciples by encouraging them to continue in the faith and by telling them it is necessary to go through many hardships to enter the kingdom of the Most High. And that's coming from the CBS Bible. You see? It, it went in deep. It said it is necessary that we go through these fiery trials, that we go through this tribulation in order to enter in the, into the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. I got this last one. I'm going to definitely got to get this. So Rock chapter 2 verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see our forefathers 
That's that's why that's why um reading is fundamental. You see? Blessed is he that readeth, right? If you don't know nothing about our past, you see, you're gonna be all leery going into the future. You see? Look at the generations of old and see there ever any trust in the Lord. Yahweh by Shimei was shy and was confounded. A big fat no. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Another big fat no. On whom did he ever despise that called upon him? No one. For the Lord Yahweh by Shimei was shy is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful. And forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction. And saveth in the time of affliction, man. Woe, destruction be to the fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. Remember, a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways, man. You see? It says, Woe to him that is faint hearted. For he believeth not, therefore shall he not be defended, man. You see? And then the next, the next verse says, Warn to them that have lost patience. You got tired of suffering. You know? You, you took the serpent's piss, you know what I'm saying? Because you got tired of suffering for righteousness. Say you went right back into the world. Because you thought the world had more to offer you. The Lord said, Warn to those that has lost patience. For what will ye do when the Lord visit you? And we already know the scriptures how the Lord visited the place where earthquakes, storms, floods, flame of devouring fire, pestilences, things of that nature, man. So just another video through the spirit of you have about Shemel Shalom. We're going to have to suffer, but fear none of the things which thou shalt suffer. Shalom.